Hey What's guys. up, guys? It's uh, Nobi and Suraj here. It is 4 p.m. Oh my god, it's 4 p.m. It's 4 o'clock, oh. Jesus. On Monday. <laughs> and uh, yeah. obviously four hours ago, the Game of Thrones Season 6 Trailer 2 was released. And, and we found out and we had to do this. Yeah, this <laughs> dropped everything that we were doing. <laughs> Just, I like, I dropped the grocery. I was dropping, I was like, <laughs> Just, <laughs> That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. I dropped the groceries, I just went straight home. I'm kidding, I, 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 I went and bought the rest of my groceries. Navi just happens to be by because she was, uh, I don't know. I had a client meeting before. around the town. Other normies are busy, but I wanted to get this out as soon as possible because I have kind of a busy week myself. Me and her laughing because in the first trailer, Jorah Mormont found Khaleesi's ring or Daenerys' and it's like, ring. I can see it on the screen. Oh yeah, IGN's trailer analysis has like a big red circle around it. It's so stupid. How the hell did that, how? Yeah, how the fuck did, did he find that? When like, he was dropping it, of, and he was just like, okay, no, that can't be it. And like, of course he found yeah, it. Yeah, like, in the middle of his field. Yeah, like, he found, hmm. which looks like a stone, <laughs> like far away, and it doesn't look like a stone. Maybe, maybe he's a good track. Maybe, maybe the horses made footprints around. They better show that footprint. It better be shining from really far away. Yeah, like a fucking video game, like object. Kind of like, yeah, like important. a quick point. Like, quest right item, here. quest item. Oh man. Oh god. I don't think so. I think Amelia Clark is really in, in, insistent on not showing anything. One more time. No. What's Theon's sister's name? Um, Yara. Yara. Maybe. So I guess she's. Oh, we saw her. So yeah, I guess yeah. She, yeah. She'll, she'll be back. I mean, yeah, Ironborn. Back. Ironborn's back in it. That was um, beliefs and um, Night King. The, the dead. dead. Yeah. yeah. So they're coming. The dead are coming. Yeah, I wonder why. I mean, maybe he's always been a believer in it, but I don't it, know. So it's, did he see something? Like I don't know. It seems like they're fighting with them, so I'm assuming they came to a wall. There was, there was uh, fire and stuff, so they're fighting. The White Walkers? Them. Yeah, there was like fire. You think they're the at the wall? I don't know if they're at the I wall. Mean, I mean, maybe know, they are like, because like there was fire behind them. Yeah, like, there was a fire, so I'm assuming they interacted with them somehow. It might not be at the wall. I don't know. That's something that's not in the books anymore. Drogo. Is, is he gonna? Yeah, Drogo. Is he yeah, gonna he, he's save Daenerys? Colossus now, man. I, know. Was like, I don't know if the camera was just really close on his back, but when he was flying over all the the Dothraki beggar women or whoever they were coming in to Vice Dothraki, it, it was a pretty awesome sweeping shot. Of him. That's the only way I think Daenerys can get out of that. Like, yeah, who, yeah. Who the hell Drogo, no. knows? I mean, she got. She about to get like <laughs> a Dothraki train run on her. That's gonna suck, dude. Sansa. Well, like her outfit when they showed her. I didn't see it. I was looking at her hair. Her hair looked really good with the black. Oh yeah! A, yeah, it's like a stark, a 
It's like a coming out of woods. Dire wolf coming out of the woods. Why rear woods? You sure Start. looks good. Yeah, her hair really does look good. I mean, in the winter, like like winter Winterfell area, her like reddish hair pops yeah, out. Yeah, really nice. Tully's hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's great. It's a strong uh, Tully trait. Jamie was talking to high um, to the High Sparrow. Yeah. So I guess there's gonna be something going down there. Arya's gonna get a second chance. So Ramsay is present at the Battle of uh, the North or whatever it's gonna be. Bastard Somebody Bowl. better kill that. Bastard dude. Bowl, if they're calling it, if they're calling it right, I hope. Bastard Bowl. Because <laughs> <laughs> people think that Jon Snow is gonna be right oh, again. Oh yeah. So like, <laughs> I want to oh, see. Bowl. <laughs> that's my that's my per I got like two things I know that have to happen. Like Jon Snow's got to take on Ramsay Bolton. Jon Snow's coming back. I don't give a shit. HBO oh no, Jon Snow's dead. coming back. That was a worst. That, that's 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 a that's a given. Okay, <laughs> this is, we're operating under that's that happening. fact. <laughs> so <laughs> operating under <laughs> it is a fact. That's not an opinion. It's a fact. Yeah. It's a written fact. He's coming back. So basketball, and then, and then something substantial with White Walkers is going to happen again. Every single season, they've had a White Walker scene, and it doesn't look like they're going to disappoint because I don't know what that fire thing. So I think this is what's going to happen. Jon Snow's going to come back. Um, he's gonna bring wildlings together and go fight Bolgens, and then they're gonna go fight Night Night Walkers. Night, Night Walkers. White, yeah, what, White, what White did Walkers. what did Tormund say at the beginning of the trailer? He was like, I thought he was going to be the one to. I thought he was the man to lead us through the long night. For a long night, ah. he was the man to lead us through a long night. Oh my god! Because he saw, he must have seen fucking Jon Snow's performance against uh, what White Walker General Two, and they. Well, it wasn't in the show, but in the book, when they were, with, you know, when he got caught and everything, they assumed he was Warg, so he, they knew that he was part of them. That's right. Um, so they do believe more with in Jon Snow than anybody else. So if yeah. Jon Snow wants to lead them, they will go after, like they will go with him. Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was going to be the one to lead us into the long night. He is Tormund. Don't worry. Oh, work. Yeah. Sorry um, about that. I had to had to deal with work. Stuff. Wildlings and Night's Watch are gonna fight Bolton and they're gonna go back f fight the White Walkers. Yeah, but like, when do yeah. you when do you think Cersei and them will ever, like, they're still caught up in their own shit. So they the, I don't think shit. the South yeah. is gonna worry about the White Walkers until what they're at their front door. Yeah, because it was Davos who said like we have to like he was the one who started believing the White Walkers. Right, they shown have nothing from the South. It would have been Tyrion who would have believed them. And he's in... Yeah, now he's, he's as far yeah. off as, as can be. But maybe that's why Daenerys will make her fucking move before the White Walkers come. Maybe. You know what I mean? I mean like, so if, hopefully Daenerys is the one in charge in King's Landing by the time... I don't know. Yeah, it could be. That because like, be a long after time. this, after this, she gets saved, she needs to make a move to Westeros. Like, yeah. she cannot be like, staying there after this at all. Like, Tyrion, ha like, now Tyrion's there, he have to be like, okay, you need to go. Yeah. I'm sure they don't want to keep Tyrion away from the main plot in Westeros for too long, so I'm hoping this, hopefully this is like the last full season with Daenerys in Essos still. Ooh, Just, I don't know, you know what I mean? Full season? Ooh, if, I if, hope not if, full season. If, if they're going to end it season yeah. 8, then like two seasons of Daenerys in her journey into Westeros I think is fine, because that's like what this series is pretty much building yeah. up to damn near. So, okay, so there's eight seasons. This season, she's going to be at Esos. Let's assume the last season is everybody fighting White Walkers. Yeah. So the next season is going to be like, hopefully she comes to the All, King's Landing yeah. and they fighting and then going. I'm assuming that's where it's going. It would be great if that was the cliffhanger of the season. Like the last scene is Daenerys like this, like making the decision to yeah. like, it's time. You, like, you know that know picture I, mean? I think you've seen it like, Den like Daenerys like looking at King's Landing kind of thing maybe you know like, I didn't see that oh you haven't seen it uh, it's, I, it's a fan made I can't wait for the, I, that moment won't come till at least season 7 but I can't wait for that moment man oh they also showed Bran Bran could walk yeah, he was laying down Bran. and like yeah he was getting connected to the tree so you know how Davos is like protecting Jon Snow's body mm -hmm. or whatever so a lot of people think whatever Sir Alistair and the other Night's Watch who betrayed Jon are trying to get John's body to like send to Ramsay Bolton because they think Ramsay Bolton was actually the one that told the Night's Watch to get rid of Jon Snow maybe oh. you know what I mean like so maybe it wasn't a straight mutiny but more of like Ramsay Bolton saying we're gonna come kill all of you if you don't if kill you don't that the last like Stark or whatever that would make sense 
Because oh, he did talk to Sansa about John. Yeah, because they couldn't really be burning him because they don't really believe in White Walkers, right? Yeah. So they, so that could be only it. Like they were protecting him because they want to send him, send the body back, or at least yeah, the head back. Exactly. No, that makes sense. That's or, a good theory. Why the hell would they kill Jon Snow when they know there's such like really big trouble building like across the wall? That's much more. Like much bigger. Uh, you'd think enough people survived hard home to like, maybe that's the people that's in Davos' room that are gonna like fight with him. I feel the wildlings hear about John's death, they're gonna be pretty shitty too. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be interesting to see. I, I'm, I'm hoping to see the entire Night's Watch just fucking wiped out. But at the same time, they were pissed at wildling. That's like, I mean, not wildling, but they were pissed that he became a traitor and brought wildlings on them sites. Obviously, because yeah. they were fighting to keep them away. Yeah. And now they have to share their food with them. You like games, little man? Yeah. <laughs> I can't oh, wait, no, man. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, sorry, guys. We're just kind of rewatching. Yeah. <laughs> they spilled more blood than the rest of us combined. Boom! Look at that. <laughs> They're showing like Bran and Arya almost back to back. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like Arya's warging abilities are gonna like, awaken this season because she's blind. I hope at least. That there's would be cool. actually there's a little bit in the books that about that happened. Oh yes, sorry guys. Okay, no third chance. All right, Jacken. Whoa! Well, 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 yes! Did you notice while they're praying? Hold on, wait. wait. I think about what's taken from me. She's gonna, kill, gonna, she's gonna kill Wilder Frey this Oh, season. I we forgot about Jorah. Oh, his gray skill's getting yeah. worse, man. Do you see the Bolton mm -hmm, sigils? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Varys, Tyrion. That was Tower of Joy, I think. Thomas going up. Ooh, that's a game. Mountain. He looks so cool. I wanted to pause it on the Night King. Finally. See, they are fighting this. Where is this though? Ooh. I don't know. But they must be clo coming close to a wall. The harpies. Dragons do not do well in captivity. Yeah. He knows this though, because he used to read books about dragons. Yeah, he used so, like, to like, like, dream them trapped, about them. They don't grow. They will get pissed at their owner. Yeah, he's going to free them. I wonder if they've gotten any bigger though. They did, you know, they, they, they did that same shot last season, I think. Yeah, like, but they can't go. Shot. They can't grow bigger because it's being confined. Um, the size. That's oh, why Drogon's so God. big. Okay, so jo Sir Jorah. I'm assuming he's gonna die. He has a great skill, unless somebody's tried to like stop him. The reason why the wildlings are like helping with the Boltons. They just must know that it's like gonna happen very soon, the White Walkers. Cause like now they're running out of options. They have to like, all right, we gotta heal the realm a little. We gotta like stop the Boltons from fucking with the North first thing. You and know what I mean? Go, and then yeah. like worry about the South. But like we need to fix this problem. Maybe that's why they that whole battle happens. But do you think Sansa went back to Littlefinger and like trying to get with Waldo Frey? Because why would they show Lo Waldo Frey and Littlefinger and Sansa? Like, yeah, yeah, they insane. did. They did they so show that in a weird way. I mean, Littlefinger's um, got the veil. He he could potentially, you know, Waldo Frey. Waldo Frey doesn't know Sansa's with him. No, so, and like, they need do... that for North to cross too. So they need that twin. Like they need those. But I don't bridges. think Sansa's gonna be pretty happy with Littlefinger for leaving her with the Boltons. I, mean, I don't know what the fuck Brienne's gonna do this season. I hope she's not waiting around all season. No, the they showed Brienne. I thought they she did. was back in King's Landing. Oh, she is. Maybe I don't she know. Is. She looked clean. Over overall, pretty pretty excited about this season. So guys. Arya's gonna get second chance with the semi. So no third chances. I mean, if she fucks up again, I think she's gonna have more. But she ending. got a second chance. Yeah, but. We know she's not gonna stay committed to this thing, right? Like she's got shit to do in Westeros. I hope her storyline figures into the main one again, because I mean she's already. There's a little bit about her that's still left in books, but that's about it. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit. Tiny well, bit. it sucks that the Baratheons are gone, but I'm ultimately still Team Littlefinger. I don't think they're gonna show Gendry, are they? 
He's done. Yeah, he's still rowing. <laughs> he's still, he's rowing. still on the boat. And Littlefinger, oh, my man Littlefinger is going to take over the throne before Daenerys comes, I feel. Um, so Q, a lot, one of our last Q&As was like, how do you think this show will end as a series? No. Them, I, I'm assuming, Dana- like, like we said, like Daenerys coming over, hopefully that gets solved. So it's, it's going to be Daenerys dragons. I mean, she will win. I mean, she has fucking dragons, for God's sake. Um, it's gonna be her with dragons fighting with White Walkers. Yeah, that, that's definitely gonna go down. And then that. I, if she's true to her word, saying that she's gonna break the wheel, I think she's gonna kind of break the king's landing. Yes, and like there's not gonna be one king. Yeah, she, everybody's gonna be like their own, which is exactly. fine. Like everybody's which is how own. it was, I think, before uh, yeah. Aegon even. Came. Yeah, so I think that's what's gonna happen. Like everybody have their own, like which is like Grey was gonna have their own own thing they can have their own land north can have the north and they, everybody can have their own small lands that they want they can just live in peace exactly it doesn't need to be one king that's yeah. my theory i see it but i i don't see like i i do imagine Jon snow will actually die die at the end of the series for some reason yeah. i don't know i don't see him living through it for some reason oh he might just like leave and never come back that's true because what he is he not like? Jon snow anymore he's just like I'm not gonna stay um, and just like gonna go be, I don't know, a gypsy. Interesting. Man, I'm so <laughs> intrigued about Bran's story and if they're gonna dive into the White Walker stuff more this season. I'm excited about that. I Do you still think he's gonna control one of the dragons? Tyrion's gonna control one of the dragons and Bran's gonna control the other one? Or is it gonna be Jon Snow? I, I think so. Uh, Jon Snow would be awesome. Yeah. Jon Snow controlled like by Jon Bran. Like Jon Snow's riding the dragon, the dragon is controlled by Bran. Mm. That'd be pretty sweet. That would You're be like, pretty oh, sweet. that's overkill. But Tyrion has to have one dragon. For God's sake, he used to dream about dragons. He used to like read about dragons all the time. He wanted a dragon when he was a kid, and then he found out he there wasn't no, no dragons. He was so sad. So he needs a dragon. Yeah, Tyrion. Tyrion needs a dragon. He needs that'll, a dragon. That'll make him feel that he's gonna get a big confidence boost from that. It's like, fuck yeah! But imagine riding back to fuck up your evil bitch sister with a dragon. Oh my god, <laughs> that that was the scene. Can you imagine? Oh, Daenerys coming back to King's Landing and one of the dragons Tyrion and Daniel yeah. like oh, I'm that's here. Be so, I'm hoping we see all those confrontations. Man, this is this is the best they show be because together. it sets up for such a large scale story and like we know how it's gonna go down at the very end, but we can't wait. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. First, uh, Navi sewage reaction. I know you saw Nahid sewage reaction when we talked about the uh, Batman Superman movie. So it, oh. it's, it's fun. I, I've done like a oh, did you do? like a dual thing with you and like a thing with Nahid in Chicago. Aww. So that's cool. Feels so special. Spend, spend some alone time with normies. Maybe me and Nikki will do something soon. Anyway. It's so hard to find alone time with Swish. <laughs> <laughs> He's always so busy. <laughs> we are so honored to have this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks for watching our rambles. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Yeah.